Now, let's compare the main concepts of money laundering and terrorism financing in detail. Let's look at the differences between the two. The first major difference is that money laundering is characterized by high amounts of money. The key objective with regard to money laundering is to make huge amounts of criminal money look legitimate. Terrorism financing, on the other hand, is very often characterized by small amounts of money. To be more specific, terrorist organizations have varying budgets. ISIS had a phenomenal budget, the same goes for the FARC in Colombia and other terrorist organizations. Some organizations have huge budgets while others are small-scale and self-financing. However, the amounts involved in the financing of terrorist acts, the daily expenses, or the donations to a network are usually relatively small. Next, the main objective of criminals involved in money laundering is to make as much profit as possible and to spend or store these profits. While for terrorism financing, high profits are not the main objective. There may be terrorist groups who might be involved in activities that help them generate high profits. However, it is not the main objective of their activity. Another difference is that, for money laundering, criminal activity is at the origin of the money, and that's the whole purpose of it. In the case of terrorism financing, criminal activity may or may not be at the origin of the money. In some terrorism financing cases, the money used was legally obtained. The last difference between money laundering and terrorist financing is that for money laundering the objective is to make dirty money clean. Once it appears legitimate it can be used for the purchase of all kinds of objects such as luxury objects or real estate. As far as terrorism financing is concerned, dirty or clean money is used for criminal intent, which is a future terrorist attack. This is sometimes called reverse money laundering. The source of money here can be legal, but the intent is criminal. To summarize, in this lesson, we discussed four main differences between money laundering and terrorism financing. While the two may look similar, but there are differences with respect to how they are characterized, their main objective, how it is done, and the source of money. In our next lesson, we will discuss the CFT policy in detail. See you there.